Hi. Short movie recapped here. I'm going to explain a movie called Ghani from India, released in 2022. Featuring a national boxing championship final match between Vijinder Sinha versus Vikramaditya. Vijinder Sinha managed to win the match, but drug use issues caused Vikramaditya to be fired from professional boxing and eventually died of an overdose. Vikramaditya, who is considered a hero in his city, is now being blasphemed. His wife and child became victims of bullying by those around them because of the news. Their house became the target of the anger of some who hated Vikramaditya. His wife told her son the only way to get out of this situation was to leave the city, and the mother made her son promise not to touch the boxing ring and have a desire to box. Because of the father's actions, the son hates him for making their lives miserable. Fifteen years later, Madhuri, Vikramaditya's wife, lives a better life. She is busy taking care of the flower garden and can forget the past. Angani is quietly behind his mother, following an illegal fight. He often won those fights and got his friends to encourage him to get professional training for him to become a professional boxer. He just kept silent and asked his friends to keep this secret as mother. Maya, a beautiful girl really likes Ghani. He is always looking for ways to get close to Ghani and make up a fake story that they are often dating. But Ghani doesn't care and leaves him when Maya approaches him. Elsewhere, a boxer named Adi meets his father. His father told him there was no need to box because all his father's wealth would be his. But he refused because this is for his life identity and won the national boxing. His father who heard that supported him and would prepare everything for his son's success. In a remote village called Kalu Manali, there lived a professional boxer who often won national boxing named Vijinder Sinha. He exiled himself to leave boxing because of the dark side of the boxing federation there. And fed up with the news of the national boxing being held because it only benefits the gamblers. While at home, Ghani's mother was surprised by the presence of a woman there. It turns out to be Maya, and she tells that she is two months pregnant as a result of Ghani's actions. When Ghani came home, his mother asked what his son had done to impregnate a woman. Ghani says that he has no girlfriend and impregnated a woman. His mother who heard it believed her son's words. The next day, Ghani then met Maya. Maya, knowing that she has been pranking Ghani, tries to stay away. But Ghani says that he has feelings for Maya. In the evening, Ghani invites Maya to go around with his friends by motorbike. But while on the way, they stopped because a car was blocking their way. They are Adi's friends who closed the streets because there would be a wild motorbike racing there. Ghani invites Maya to turn around to find another way. But she refuses and Maya comes down to warn them, but Maya gets bad treatment. It makes Ghani angry and beats them. Adi who sees it gets angry and prepares to hit Ghani. But Ghani who knows it is ready to beat Adi. Their fight stopped after the police came to them. Ghani then talks to Maya not to do unnecessary things. And said that love would be a hindrance and a nuisance to his life. Maya who heard that was angry and left him. Ghani then took part in the selection of boxing matches in his region. And during the semi-final match he managed to beat his opponent and enter the final. While at home, he gets a message from Maya and says she saw Ghani's match. They have made up because of Ghani's words. Then he sent boxing gloves as his gift via courier. Knowing that made Ghani panicked because his mother received the goods from the virtual shipment. But Ghani managed to take the package before her mother opened it. The next day, Ghani attends the press conference before the final match. It turns out that the final brings together Ghani and Adi, which takes them by surprise. One of the organizers saw the problem of Ghani and realized that he was the son of Vikramaditya, so he called someone who turned out to be Vijinder Sinha. Adi and Ghani prepare to fight in the regional boxing final. Vijinder also came to that final. The final fight began, and the two boxing fights threw punches at each other in the first round. But Ghani is slightly ahead and makes Adi overwhelmed to attack Ghani. The second round started, Ghani was far ahead of Adi and managed to corner him before the bell rang. In the third round, Adi badmouthed his girlfriend which made Ghani lose concentration. 
Adi also provokes about his father, which makes Ghani lose control of attacking Adi and breaking the rules. Ghani was detained by several people and stopped when the jury read out the verdict. Stating that Ghani was disqualified for attacking an opponent with an elbow and attacking the referee. They also said that Adi would represent his region for the national championship. Ghani was angry and disappointed by the decision. Suddenly his mother came after knowing her son was taking part in a boxing match. His mother is angry because he broke his promise, but Ghani is even more angry because all this is because of his father. He was provoked by the opponent because of his father's actions and suffered for 15 years. Then Vijinder came to meet Ghani and his mother. The man said that he was his father's opponent in the final of the national championship. He also said that he did not use illegal drugs as reported by the public. Because Vikram is the best boxer ever to beat him. And then he told the truth about what happened. Vikramaditya is a boxing champion in his area. And he became a person who tried hard to make boxing a match that was recognized by his regional government. One day, one of his juniors, named Ramesh had an incident while training due to inadequate equipment at his local boxing training center. While in the hospital, the doctor said that, because he was not wearing a protective headgear, both the nerves in his eyes were injured and he was blind. The doctor also advised Vikram to stop boxing in his area because of the poor facilities. Vikram and his friends went to the local government to request that boxing be facilitated like any other sport. But officials there rejected Vikram's request because of the cheap sport. Hearing that makes Vikram angry, but he is stopped by his trainer Iswarnath. Eswar says it's useless being angry there as they won't care. The only way is for him to prove it by winning national boxing. Hearing that he was determined to win the national boxing and decided to stop working. Vikram then tells his wife that he is leaving his job and will focus on winning the national championship. And determined to bring young people in his area to become a professional boxer. They then went to the national championship registration and met the successive national champion Vijaner. Vikram who saw that was excited and started the qualifying round. And he made it to the final and met defending champion Vijinder. But before the final match Vikram and Eswar meet the boss of the national boxing sponsor. He says congrats Vikram for getting to final. But he asks Vikram to lose in final as he has risked Vijinder to win in final. He promises Vikram if he loses he will fail his boxing gym and will lead Vikram to become champion next year. Vikram who heard this was angry, but managed to calm down by Eswar. Eswar then asks them to leave from there. Match day arrived, they started the game really well. But Vikram is far ahead against Vijinder, and victory is absolute for him. When entering the fourth round, suddenly Vikram lost concentration. And in the end he lost in that final. After the final match, Vijinder celebrated his victory. Eswar comes to the party and meets the boss of the sponsor instead of Vijinder. The boss said that Vijinder should thank him. Because thanks to him, Vijinder managed to win that boxing match. He earns a lot of money for making Vikram take large amounts of steroids during matches. And that cost him the match and died of a steroid overdose. Vijinder was furious to hear that but he couldn't do much and decided to quit boxing. Hearing his explanation made Ghani sad because he had hated his father for 15 years. He then returned home looking for memories of his father who he used to admire so much. The next day, Ghani went to Vijinder and asked for his help to compete in the national championship. Vijinder said it was difficult as he had been banned from the national boxing championship. But Ghani convinced him to prove his father's innocence. Hearing that made Vijinder try to help him. Vijinder then met with the sports minister and asked for Ghani's boxing ban to be lifted. He agreed to Vijinder's request because he is an Indian boxing legend. Vijinder then called Ghani and told him that his ban was lifted. He tells Ghani to get ready as he doesn't have much time with the competition he will be participating in. He then told Ghani to come to his place to specialize in training with him. Ghani then met Vijinder at his house and they started practicing. Somewhere, Eswar who has now become a rich and successful man. He met with one of the sponsors and said that the Indian Boxing League had not yet received a permit. Eswar then called Mr. Khan as the giver of the match permit. 
but he doesn't allow it because Eswar is doing what he wants with this competition. Knowing the refusal, Eswar already had a contingency plan by killing Mr. Khan. The sponsors had a meeting with Eswar. They asked their benefits if they become sponsors. Eswar said their profits were obtained by taking advantage of bets from the audience. And they will arrange the match so that they get a lot of profit. On the night before the match, Eswar meets Vijinder, and for the first time Eswar and Ghani meet. Eswar tries to provoke Ghani, but Ghani remembers Vijinder's advice. He calmly attacked the words that made Eswar remember his father. And will make his victory every game a wound for him. The day of the match arrived, Ghani started the national boxing preliminary match. Every match that Ghani played he won. And that makes people bet big on him. Seeing that, the sponsors asked Eswar to be responsible. Eswar then meets with Adi to discuss something. The next day, Adi meets Ghani. He apologizes for his actions and finds out the truth about his father. They are friends, and Adi asks Ghani to win representing his region, as he lost in the semi-finals against Ivan. The semi-final match between Ghani and Kala begins. During matches, Kala always targets Ghani's ribs. For three rounds Kala always attacked in the same place, but Ghani managed to beat him in the third round. After the match, Ghani fell ill and took him to the doctor. Doctors said that Ghani had a broken rib and it would be very dangerous if he continued to fight. Vijinder complied with the doctor's request and will continue next year. Suddenly Eswar comes and says everything has been arranged by him. Including the semi-final opponent who was in charge of injuring him. In the final he will meet the person he has trained in Russia and who has beaten Nadi. He also said that his father was still able to be saved but he paid the doctor to mix his medicine with high doses of steroids. Hearing that made Ghani cancel the fight and continue the fight for the national boxing final. His mother then visited Ghani and gave permission for Ghani to avenge his father to win national boxing. The final match started, Ghani and Ivan started the match. The first round, Ghani, who continued to throw punches, did not make him fall and feel pain. During the second round, Ivan attacked Ghani and left him dizzy and in pain. Ivan continues to attack and Ghani is saved by the sound of the bell. During the third round, Ivan continued to attack Ghani and made him lose control of his body even more. During the fourth round, Ghani was hit even more by Ivan's punches, but he managed to hit him several times. Eswar notices Ghani starting to get up, he then gives the code to Adi. Adi approaches Ghani and gives him a drink, it turns out that Adi and Eswar have agreed to give Ghani steroid. The fifth round began, Ghani began to match Ivan's punch, but Ghani's exhausted condition made Ivan's punch painful. Ivan then cornered Ghani and his punch was able to make Ghani fall. As the referee counted, Ghani began to remember his past and Eswar's words. He then got up, but Ivan beat him until the bell rang to save him. The sixth round started, Ghani started well. He was able to dodge Ivan's attacks and counter-attacked his opponent. Until he can do an uppercut that makes his opponent fall. And Ghani won that match. Ghani then looked at Eswar with pride. After the game, the sponsors and gamblers asked for their money which he promised. Eswar was depressed because he had to compensate them with a lot of money. Ghani then comes to meet Eswar. He then shows the steroids he gave to Adi. Adi says he will pretend to follow Eswar's wish. Because he doesn't like the way he cheats. Ghani also said if he had to get ready because the police would come to pick him up. Because all his conversations with Ghani about his father's murder in the hospital have been recorded by Vijinder. The depressed Eswar felt the pain of falling and dying. Ghani continued his father's dream by establishing the Barath Boxing Academy. And, this movie, the ends. Make sure to subscribe and turn on notifications so you can watch more videos like this. Thanks for watching.